views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, hello. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, Wrap up, grab an extra blanket if you're in this part of the world because it's a little cool. But you know what? It's not a bad day. It's just a cool day, Um, a freezing day. But that doesn't mean it's a bad day. I say that every time it's raining and you always hear the complaining. Everybody's complaining about how nasty the weather is. It's just a wet day. It's not a bad day. So this is one of those. This is just a cold day. It's not a bad day. So think of it that way. I want to warm your hearts a little bit as we go through. I've been really excited about this episode. Um, This is the one where annually, because this is my first time back live after the holidays, so it's good to be back, uh, where we go through the whole year and the energy and what guidance angels have for us, um, intuition, you know, spirit, how can we move through this upcoming year, 2015 positively? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I have a lot of months. I have all 12 months I want to cover. So I really want to get that information out. Uh, so I'm going to be moving through it, uh, pacing myself so we can get this information out. This is, uh, information for everybody. This is Uh, I did the intention. I've been up very early today and I have notes all around me because I do it in the moment. I don't pre-plan this. Like I said, I said, what do I do when we get on the air? What is the intention you want me to deliver to the audience? And that's what we're doing today. Now, I have quick announcement that I'm very excited to share. I feel so honored about this and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, actually, beginning January 12th, um, there is a telesummit that I was invited to speak at, and it's called Your Divine Uniqueness. I have all of the links under events on my website, Jen, jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Uh, right there on the homepage to the left under Upcoming Events, you'll see it. Uh, there's a link right there. It'll take you straight to the the site where you can go get the information. They're going to record it. It'll be live. I'm actually speaking on February 11th at noon Eastern, but there is a lot of wonderful inspirational speakers that are part of the summit. So go check it out. Um, uh, it's, it's about positive. It's about what we want to do with our energy now. So go check it out. Uh, it's all on my website so you can find the links. Now, Let's talk about this. We are doing messages with the angels, with the guidance of spirit. I've used my intuition. I've really been connecting and tapping in. And what do they want to tell us? What do they want to share with us for this new year? Now, this is interesting because I had a lot of people telling me or calling me, writing me, asking me, why does it feel, it feels different as soon as it switched over to the new year. It did feel different. And they were expressing how they felt peaceful in in spite of the things that were happening out there. Now, we don't want to focus on all those things because there's plenty of that going on. Uh, that third dimension thinking, that old crazy stuff out there that we're all really trying to move, push, push through and move past. Yes, it's out there. I'm not denying that, but we're here to focus on what we can do to bring in a positive energy because the more light we bring in, there's a lot less room for that. So think about it that way. 
uh, the first two months were interesting when I went to do the reading and I was writing all this down as it was coming in. The first two months came in with a lot of uh, positive energy that we really want to take note of. Regardless of how you may be feeling up and down on a day-to-day basis, there's energy out there all around us right now that really wants you to grab a hold of and say, you know what, I might not be feeling so great right now. Um, Don't focus on catching a cold. Don't focus on all of that. Focus on the energy that you can send and decide and choose. I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go that way this year. I'm not doing that. I've already done that a few times. I'm telling you, it works. Uh, I've done that. I've done that a lot because, you know, they're there and it keeps coming at you. And it's like, no, 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 Uh, no, thank you. Think of it as saying no, thank you when someone offers you something you don't really want, like a cigarette or, or something you don't like to eat. And you say, no, thank you. I'll pass. Say that to anything with a low frequency, whether it's an illness, whether it's, you know, a mindset, whatever it is. You don't have to force anybody else. Think about where you want to be. So the first two months came through like that. Uh, in, in individual months, January came in with Archangel Jeremiah. It was interesting because he's the life review angel. However, and you would think he would have come in in December, but he did roll over into January because it was more about, you know, you've worked really hard. Um, you've been working to, you know, overcome things, obstacles, challenges. You're learning on your soul growth with intention, things like that. Now it's time to be content and, and allow yourself that moment of contentment and review, wow, I really have done a lot. I have overcome a lot. I have achieved things. Um, I have done well. I don't, and I mean, I don't care what your situation is. I've talked to people that don't have anything. I've spoken to people that are homeless. I've spoken to people that are recovering from major things. They will tell me something that they appreciate. So I'm saying I'm kind of knocking that excuse out of the water and taking the vice away right there. We don't want to go to that energy and complain right now because there's an energy of gratitude, contentment, and peace that's all around. You want to just immerse into that and find something, even if it's just a small little thing, it doesn't matter. It's still big in the spiritual realm. It does not matter about that. I know size doesn't matter. I know. I just said it. I really did. So, uh, you know, think about it that way. Um, Jeremiah saying, review what you've done and appreciate it and pat yourself on the back and say, thank you for that. Now, moving on to February, Archangel Ariel came in and That's about really feeling that harmony about your relationships, um, knowing that you have love in your life, that you can be positive, that you can have the material and emotional imbalance. This is the contentment in all things, being very, very positive about it. You know, it was really uh, beautiful. Ariel comes in and she's she always has the best energy when she comes in and she's very positive and she's very strong and very brave. It's about, you know, appreciating the other people in your life. February is the, you know, month of love, but not just romantic love, love in all things, appreciation, love, sending out where you could put out some love uh, to someone else that might need some. And where could you love yourself? Uh, This was a very interesting read for the first two months to come in so positive. And I don't know why I was so surprised about that. It was so, it was positive. We needed some positive. Well, let's embrace that positive. And the more we focus on that powerful energy that's out there right now, we can build more on that. And that those two months right here, January, February, are giving us that energy to take us through the rest of the year very positively when it goes up and down because, you know, energy does go up and down. The ebb and flow of life is up and down. Now, when I come back after the break, we'll pick up from March because March we start getting interesting. 
It starts to fluctuate a little bit, but th- focus on those two months. January, February, very positive. It's thankfulness. It's gratitude. It's appreciation for everyone, everything you have in your life. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. This show is about all the angel messages for 2015. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Vasily is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you're ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. And we are back. I'm I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. And today we are delivering the angel messages of hope for 2015. And we're going through each month and how we can utilize those energies the best. Before we went to break in the first segment, we went through January, February. And those two months are very positive, encouraging, you know, just bask in the good vibes. And so you can take that with you. It's kind of a refueling station for the year for the rest of the year now we're into march and archangel zadkiel came in for that one and this one is where we start to tweak a little bit now this we may find ourselves in an energy where we got so excited and we might be working a little too hard maybe pushing a little too hard and we're starting to feel that out of balance between personal life and professional life um doesn't mean, oh, no, everything's going to go to kaput in March. It just means we're being aware. And how do we move through this? That's what the purpose of the show is. When we have energies like that coming in, how do we move through that for the best, highest outcome? And the best thing in this month, because all of the challenging months also are to help us grow and learn. And trust me, That's what you want to hear with this one. This is the month where you'll learn how to let go of some things. You're going to have to look at what do I need to put down? 
What do I need to let go of? What do I need to keep? Whoa, I may have a little too many things. Um, I may have too many irons in the fire, so to speak. That is what March energy will feel like. But we take the energy of what we appreciate and we're really looking from that January, February. We're moving into March and we're going, okay, I don't want to get burned out. I really want to move forward with what I really want to keep, what I really feel, you know, passionate about. And this is a month of looking at that. So when that pops up, be aware of that. You might want to grab the archive for this. So you have the recording to, f- to flip back and listen to f- future down the road. When we move on into April, now Archangel Raphael comes in and uh, Raphael is the healing angel. And this is a in between. It feels like the energy of a five. It feels very heady, like uh, thinking lots of thought. Now we're really pondering and we're we're thinking, we're thinking, we're almost thinking too much. Um, and then we feel like we have to push from that, f- from that energy of March. We're feeling like we have to, we have to push something to happen. Not so much, not so much. This would be a time to give it a rest. You're at the halfway point, let it quiet down, let it simmer uh, allow that energy to move into a better energy to to actually move forward in it. And th- that was interesting because when you really look at the whole picture of a whole year, you can see how that flows and you can time that out. So this one, you're going to be feeling a little overworked probably. You're going to feel whatever it might be. It might be things you love. I know that happens to me with things I love. It means, whoa, okay, I know you're loving this, but we we need to take a break and rest so you don't burn out. And that's something that I have to really watch with my own self. So April may feel, you know, like you're pushing too hard. You have to do something. Not necessarily. It means be comfortable with the rest, quiet down. And uh, that is the April. That's Raphael. So he comes in to tell you to heal, to settle, to calm down a little bit. So March, remember, March Zadkiel, that's the working too hard. You might be working too many hours. You might be not balancing the rest, the play, the work, the personal life. Look at just that energy of am I am I out of balance and where could I balance that? If you're aware of it, you can bring that in and it's a much smoother ride. And that's the point of this. Uh, if you don't pay attention to it, it could kind of all of a sudden take over. And now you're going, whoa, what happened? Okay, and remember, April April comes in with Raphael to settle it down, to calm it down. It's like you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, moving into that or forcing that right now. Just wait that one out before you jump in there. Just kind of wait it out a little bit. So that's what that one is. And when we move into May, May brings in Archangel Michael. Yay. You know, our warrior, our champion. And this is where now that we've had the balance and the rest to quiet down, now we can think clearly in May. We can actually put the logic and the discipline in order and start to make some decisions and start to move forward. If that one is going to be a month of get organized, be proactive in the situation, uh, create, plan, tweak, tweak for optimization, you know, sometimes things have to get reorganized, re-outlined. Um, that isn't a negative at all. That's constant improvement. You know, everything is a perspective of how you see it. Now, when I started going into the different months, was everybody going, oh, no, that's going to be a bad month? That's what I mean. That's a perspective that's focusing on everything that you don't want. What you want to hear when you feel, you know, that shift coming is, okay, okay. That's coming. So what can I do to have the most balanced uh, mindset and positive attitude as I go through that energy? Because the energy actually is teaching you something. Those challenging energies are teaching us something. They're teaching us discipline. They're teaching us how to practice. For example, that one back in March was practicing balance. We're practicing how to balance for a happy life. We're asking for the happy life. Well, this is how we learn how to do it. Then we learn how to rest. Then we come into May with Michael and we learn how to think with logic because now our mind is clear. We've rested. We're balanced. Now we can 
organize things. Now we can move forward much more productively, whatever it is we're wanting to do. We might be working on manifesting something new into our life. And now we move into June. Now, June brings in Archangel Gabriel. And this is now we're moving into the energy of more abundance of everything, whether it's balancing the scales of abundance. This kind of comes in. This one was interesting because, you know, Gabriel is the communicator. He announces, but we have all this great energy. And and what he is saying for this month is think of it this way. Are you receiving too much and not giving enough? Or are you expecting to receive a certain way? Are you expecting to give out a certain way? How can this be balanced? Uh, Is there someone that you know that could, you know, that you could help uh, with with advice, uh, support, maybe lending a helping hand? It doesn't always have to be financially. Everybody thinks it's always that. No, not necessarily. Abundance is all of it. Where is the energy out of balance? June is a place to look for. Is there something that I need to allow to come into my life because I won't let somebody else help me or I won't allow it in? Or is there someone out there that I could help back? You know, is there someone that I could give an encouraging word to? This is what that month is about. And so it's a communication month, which makes sense with Gabriel coming in. Communication to balance the abundance in all areas of life, all areas. So that was an interesting one. I thought that I thought that was very interesting. Um, so, you know, when you go into these and you see how they're, how they're playing out, it, you know, it adds up when you start to look at it from the bigger picture. So you, you see the energy from January, February are bringing us that good vibe to really fuel us up. And then March was bringing us into, okay, now make sure you're not working too hard or playing too hard. Got to have the balance. And that can happen sometimes after we've worked really hard and then we have two months of just bliss. Okay. And then you say, oh, we have to go back to work. You know, I saw the kids going to the school bus and they were kind of dragging their feet after two weeks of holiday break. They're like, I don't really want to go back to school. And it's so, you know, we have to have our balance. We have to get back into a rhythm. And then, you know, to rest and to think, it's like, okay, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with my thoughts. So let me just kind of simmer on this till I'm clear, find a middle ground, so to speak, when you find yourself in those waters. Um, That was April and May, you know, Michael coming in with that logic discipline. Okay, let's get organized. We've got things to do. Now, this is a energy of creating your own abundance and your own things in life that can really catapult you into success, prosperity, happiness, the things you've been dreaming of. And June, wow, that communicator Gabriel comes in and we are looking to balance that. Okay. I have had so many things given to me. I have great abundance. I'm happy. I, I can be a good listener. Maybe that's what you could give somebody or, uh, what can someone give you? This is a balancing of that abundance among all of us. Where is a family member that might need something or, or a friend or, you know, maybe a neighbor down the road, just it's keep the perspective open. It's all areas of life. It's not just financial. It's all areas of what you could do to help someone else. And when you can allow them to help you in return, these are big. These are very big. This is a big thing. Um, I'm going really fast. So I'm repeating some of it and wrapping it back up uh, to where we are. So you don't lose because I'm moving quick to get through this because I don't have quite enough time until the next break, and I'm going to bring July in on the next segment. But we have quite the interesting energy that's really teaching us to hone in on the energy of 2015. We've been talking about uh, for a couple of years now how we're manifesting, how it's moving faster. Well, this frequency yet again is moving up again, and more and more people are waking up and they're deciding – I want something else. I don't want to keep doing it this way. The more and more people that take that intention and make that choice, the the brighter this world becomes and the more hope comes in. 
Uh, this guidance today is guidance from the angelic realm to help us do that this year. So I know I'm doing that, and I'm sharing what I know that's going to help you to uh, take what take what works and keep moving on if it doesn't. But that's what we're talking about today. We're going through every single month. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'm going to pick up with July, and we'll keep moving through the rest of 2015. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. We are delivering the angel messages of hope for 2015 here on The Jen Royster Show. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. back i'm dr jen you're listening to the jen royster show and wow we are moving fast through this one today because we have 12 months of angel messages of hope for 2015 we are delivering today uh spent quite a few hours pulling all of this information out of meditation and intuition just delivering this to you today um it's important i I've been doing this for years, starting my entire year off like this, and now I'm sharing it with all the listeners, and I'm doing this once a year on the show because, you know, look at the whole broad picture, and then you pull it back to one month at a time. So if you've missed part of the show, go back and get the first six months because now we're up to July. And for the rest of the year, it's interesting because Raphael, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael have joined forces in tandem for the rest of the year. They go back and forth with the rest of the year. 
I know, and they're like, woo, two major angels that are doing that. They work in tandem pretty much a lot. So keep that in mind. But this is the time where we get serious and we start working on our soul growth and we're moving forward. Now, remember what I said. Um, when the challenging parts come in, those are times where we actually do the most soul growth, where we learn, we're practicing. It's like training to strengthen that area of spirit for us. That is the perspective you want to take, not like, oh, everything's wrong and this is what's happening to me. No, it's not happening to you. It's an opportunity for growth and to learn and to strengthen. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, July, Raphael comes in again, and this one is about positive thinking. Now, we it's positive thinking is easy when it's all going well, but if there's some challenges or negative thinking or fears cropping up or, you know, you're getting obsessed about a certain thing or an outcome, you're starting to fall into a negative pattern of thinking. Watch out for that in July. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's very simple. You realign it with a positive thought. And if it's very difficult for you to do, this is about like say something pops into your head. If you start having a lot of those thoughts coming in, think of it this way. Okay, claim it. Just say, all right, I hear you. That's not so positive. So we're going to come up with something else and then claim it. Just say it. Just do it. Write it out. Just keep, keep correcting it. You'll find that you'll have an opportunity to correct that and practice that in July. And that's the point of that. So this is about keeping your focus on positive thoughts when the negative ones are popping in or filling your head. When you start to feel overwhelmed by things, go back to the positive thoughts, take a deep breath, be still, say thank you and say, you know what? I'm choosing positive. Because wherever the light is, there isn't any darkness. Darkness doesn't really exist where there's light. Only love is real. And you, you hear all these different things. And I'm throwing them out there now to you, whether you absorb it or not. Because you will. I know you will. Because it's all part of you. So that's just there. I'm kind of giving you that. So July, that's Raphael. Just ask him to help you out in that month if you feel like you're trying to go into a slump. You don't have to. You don't have to at all. You can choose to come right out. This is a month where you can do that. Now, we move into August, and Michael comes back in. Michael brings in, believe it or not, uh, more of a feminine energy and intuition. Now, think about this. This was what was fascinating to me. After we go through the energy of July where, you know, we have to keep the thoughts positive, that's helping you practice and manifest what you want in your life, by the way. All of that work in July was about that. Now, when you come into August, you turn inward. And now you're going to practice trusting your intuition, trusting it, because that feminine energy of the universe comes in. It's intuitive. It's nurturing of the self. It's really trusting those feelings and emotions. It's not going to be so much about the logic in that month. It's going to be a practicing of that intuitive ability that you have within you. I'm a big believer in helping everyone hone in and strengthen and trust their own intuitive skills. You have them. They're there. They're popping in all the time. You just may not be noticing them. This is an opportunity to really hone in on that. So you see how one month will lead and line you up for the next one. So if you look at it that way, you can sail right through this like a course in school and come out doing very well. Uh, that's what this world is like. It's a school of life. I mean, it is. It's earth school is what we call it. So August is Michael, and it's going to be really honing the intuitive messages that you receive and trusting those, your own. So I recommend taking some notes about this if you want to get the archive to re-listen to th some of this and make some notes on your calendar about, you know, that will help you go, oh, yes, this is uh, this particular energy for this month. And, uh, this angel came in with that particular message and I can ask that angel or I can ask my own higher self, you know, okay, what would be the best way for me to move through this? So you can do that very easily that way. And as we move into September, 
Raphael comes back. They see they're going back and forth. It's interesting. But Raphael comes in, and now we've moved over to more of a male energy, you know, fiery energy. It's like the focus. It's um, it's getting the, the logic and the, the thought back into it. Because the intuition and thought together working in balance and harmony, wow, that's it. That's it right there. You have logic and reason. You have intuitive and creativity and spirituality. Your male, female energies of your mind, you put them together in balance, working together. Nothing's going to stop how high you soar. That's it right there. So that is a big one for September. Uh, it's about focus. It's full steam ahead. You're putting that energy and time into what you want to do. Uh, you're going to take the bull by the horn, so to speak. You're going to you're going to be stronger. You're going to feel stronger from all the other months, okay? Because now you're here in September. You're you're going to find that you're. It's much easier now for you to stay in positive thought because you practice that. And you're like, I can do that more than I used to do it before. I I can do that. So you're. It's going to allow you to work at a higher speed, a higher pace, busier, being very productive very logical about it, but at the same time, you won't get out of balance like you did before because you were practicing that when you had the opportunity back a few months earlier. That's how you work through the months of energy. So I I think that's pretty powerful and pretty amazing. And let me see, I'm going to get one more in for this one. Uh, Let's move into October. Now we've moved back into Michael. Now Michael comes in because now you're back into your thinking and your emotions <laughs> and you may be going and, and you're going to practice again here. Okay. It's like, okay, you're, you're trying to make a decision on something that you know you need to do and it's kind of conflicting a little bit. So this time you're going to be applying your intuition that you learned how to practice into, okay, I got to make a decision here. I want to use logic and reason, but I also want to trust my intuition. So this one is about, okay, making up your mind, choosing something. It's going to be a month of choice and trusting intuition and finding middle ground if you need to again till till you're at the point where, okay, yep, this is what I want. This is about having faith in your own wisdom in this month. You see? how it's lining up. It's just, it's, it fascinates me every year when I do this just to see how they line up like that because it's taking you through something, each one to help you practice and hone that skill. But believe it or not, it's not scary. It's actually quite gentle. Everybody will be at different levels. Okay. Uh, as you're raising your frequency, you're raising your frequency, moving into a higher reality of a positive life Um, a positive world when you work on things like this. Um, Switching those negative thoughts to positive is putting light out in the world, for example. Um, Working on your own, you know, being hard on yourself, like, you know, switch that to, you know, forgiving yourself and giving yourself some pardon, giving yourself some love. Um, Doing these things gently as they come up and you have the opportunity to work on the energies Believe it or not, they actually are very gentle the way they come in. We make them hard because we're choosing to make them hard. I'm saying you have lots of choices this year to make it much more positive, much more joyous, much more happy. We have a couple of months left. I'm going to wait till the last segment because we don't quite have enough time on this one. But, you know, they are, it's amazing. This is a very powerful year where if you add all the numbers up together of the year 2015, that's an eight, the energy of eight. So go do some homework on the energy of eight. I don't have time to go into all of the numerology with that. But look at that, how that ebb and flow in and out, and that's constant. And that's exactly what I'm seeing as we go through the months. It's flowing in, work on this, flows out. It gives you what you need for the next one. It comes back around. It's incredible. It's incredible the more I look at it. I actually feel very revved up and kind of excited about it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with it. I would love some feedback. Um, Let me know if you're working on this. And always know that the archive's there if you need to go through the months and grab your little notes. And then as you're going through the year, how's it going for you? And 
where, where can you tweak it? Or, okay, I don't know if I passed that one or I don't know if I did that one so well. Guess what? You can try again. Now, when we come back, we're going to go into November and December to wrap up the show. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We're, we're delivering the angel messages of hope for 2015. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. And we are back. Wow. Final segment of our angel messages for 2015. So we're working on November and December here. If you're just tuning in, this is the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. That's what we've been doing the whole show. So if you've missed the first part of it, go back and grab the archive. We've gone through every single month the energy and how to move through that and how to enhance and improve and grow and strengthen those areas and then to soar and take the energies for the best outcome. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Now for November, we have Raphael. Archangel Raphael comes back again. They've been going back and forth now for the since July, Michael and Raphael. So Raphael is here. We're moving back over into more of the emotions and the feelings and the relationships. Um, but this is the part that I noticed. We're going into it evolving to a new level. Uh, there's a lot of healing that I see. There's a lot of releasement. There's a lot of forgiveness, a, a really beautiful month in November. What I see with this, um, it's about your intuition kicking in even more and really feeling this and the perceptions of what you're seeing, you're going to start to shift. You're going to start feeling like you see the world quite differently. Like, you know, 
I always thought it was this way. Now my perspective has completely shifted. And you're going to see how this entire year has really been helping you. And it will help everybody in a different way. It's interesting how that works. But everybody has their own journey they're on. You'll see how that whole year, this whole year has been building you and nurturing you and honing your skills and honing your your frequency, your ascension up to a higher level of living in reality that now you look around and you're, you feel like you're really waking up. You go, well, you know, it's not like I thought it was. I see a little bit more now. And your intuition is going to be stronger. You're going to be trusting yourself more. Uh, this is great. This is a great thing to hear. Um, this is going to be, you're going to feel a lot. Don't be afraid of feeling. Don't be afraid to feel. Allow the feelings to come through and then process them. You know, allow yourself to be analytical, but be balanced with feeling. Go back and forth with that. You're going to be working back and forth uh, with left brain, right brain more this year. I really see a lot of, wow, it's really bringing it together for us. It's not going to be one or the other. You're going to be making decisions with the heart, but applying your logic and reason. It's amazing. I see it happening for everyone. So you're going to be individual with it. But as a whole, this message was for all of us. So basically, November is the intuition is really kicking in. You're really starting to trust it more. Uh, the analytical isn't as strong this month, but you're going to see where it is an insightful month and you're applying it uh, more and st- It's more balanced the way you're applying it. It's a healthy way you apply the analyzing versus uh, obsession and overthinking it and getting overwhelmed. That's where you're going to find a balance. Now, let's move into December, the last month of the year. And, of course, Archangel Michael comes back in to to see us out through to the end of the year. And, boy, does he come back with the energy of fire. He comes back revved up, creative, inspired ready for career possibilities that are coming in for the year coming forward into 2016. He's ready to embrace new adventures. He feels in a celebratory mode, like, let's do it. Let's go. Let's move. This is amazing to end the year that way. I love that because sometimes that's the, that's the one where you're okay. I'm tired from this whole year and I'm ready to, to be done with it. He comes in completely the opposite for December. He comes in, get fired up, we're going to rock and roll this one coming into 2016. I'm like, wow. And after all the year, uh, you've come to this place with all of this energy, like a victory. And that's what I'm seeing. That's what he's telling me for December of this year. I love it. It's like, feel good about everything you accomplish. So This is an awareness, a self-awareness of how you go through energies day in and day out. I wanted to take you through month to month and show you how to move through these energies and how to make the most of them, how you can apply it. And a year doesn't have to beat you up. A year, even with things that happen, can be great opportunities to really soar and be better than you were the year before. And that's the goal. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to look at. Everyone that I've ever spoken to that has really been through some tough things. They all say the same thing, that they're so much better because of it. I honestly can say the same thing about myself. I've, of course, I've been through tough things. Everybody has something that happens, but I am better because of everything I've learned from those experiences. And that's what you want to apply. So there's a lot of great energy, though, in 2015. We have these January, February months to gear up and then go into the months that are coming up that seem a little more challenging uh, with a positive attitude and a little bit of strength and your reservoir filled up to the rim, you know, with the energy to I can do this. I see that, but we're going to do it different this time. We're going to we're going to switch that to a positive thought this time. And you will see so many things change. It's really amazing. So if you missed any part of the show, go back and grab it because I went through every single month and I'm doing it as it comes in as well. I have some notes, but 
it's really just what do they want me to tell you in this moment? Because this is for everybody. It wasn't a read for just myself or one person out there. This was for everybody that listens to this episode. Whether if you're listening to the episode, you were supposed to hear it. That's the way that works. I love the universe and how it works. And whew, I've been going fast, but that was the only way to get through 12 months in this short time. Um, I hope that you find that you make the most of 2015 and now you'll look forward to 2016 and beyond. And every year you go through and you have that awareness as you go through them, not just blindly walking past it, not paying attention. It's time to be involved in your own journey. You know, really, really take the reins and go, you know what? Um, my higher self can really drive this ship so much better than than this attitude I have with a with a negative attitude. So let, let's move forward in this. Now, we're about to wrap up the show. So one more time, if 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 you missed any of it, um, please grab the archive. It'll be available shortly. Um, you can always write me. Let me know your thoughts over at jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. And be sure to check out while you're over there some free guided meditations I have up there. I have free gifts if you sign up for the newsletter. And also, I'm going to be speaking in the upcoming Telesummit that starts January 12th. And all of that information is on my website. I'll be speaking February 11th, but there's a lot of great speakers. Your Divine Uniqueness is the name of the Telesummit. I have all the links right there. Um, this is a year to look forward to. Embrace it. I want to tell everyone right now, wherever you are, even if you're driving, keep your eyes open. You don't have to close your eyes. Look around your environment or close your eyes and feel it. And find one thing in there that you can be thankful for, where you can say, I love this world, I love life, I love humanity, because guess what? That's what humanity needs right now, it needs a lot of love. So give humanity love. You know, remember those that, oh man, don't you remember the, the uh, St. Francis of Assisi where he said, you know, so love you know, so love where there's hatred, so love, things like that. And remember, whatever's going on out there in the world, it's not about you and them. It's between you and God. I wish everyone a prosperous, amazing soul growth ascension into 2015 because I'm choosing to do that. So come along with me. Let's do this. Let's change humanity for the better. One person at a time. You choosing to do that for yourself, you've contributed much more than you realize to making this world a better place. So I say go for it wherever you are in life. Don't let it kick you down. I'm telling you, those are the challenges you say, you know what? What do I got to learn from this? This is tough, but what do I need to learn? I can do this. And that's how you move through an energy like that. So no more excuses, no more excuses. Let's shift and choose happiness. Let's choose a better humanity. Let's choose love instead of hatred. And let's choose to heal. Absolutely, let's choose to heal. I want you to say thank you for whatever you have in your life right now. Do it right now, somewhere, everywhere. Look and see what you have out there. I mean, it's pretty cold here, but it's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm thankful. Uh, I see life still moving about. It's a beautiful day. Um, I want to give you so much love from my heart. I just have so much busting out right now that I want to give you, so it's just I'm just doing it, and I'm going with it. I'm absorbing and feeling that January energy that's so amazing right now. So I want to give that to you. So I'm sending out energy right now to everyone in a burst of love. Just embrace it, grab a hold of it, and then pass it on to another one. And stay in that positive thinking of love. I want to say thank you for listening today. Let me know your thoughts. And as always... I wish you much love and happiness, and thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm Dr. Jen. You have been listening to The Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You 
You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basili is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. 
Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. 